Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to see what happens if we freeze dry concentrated orange juice. You know that with the orange crops taking a big hit this year, I started thinking to myself, how well will this freeze? And if you took a look at that thumbnail, it looks like it came out a mess, but stand by because the results were actually pretty good. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see how many of these tubs or containers will fit per tray. I have a feeling that two of them will fit per tray, but we'll have to see and find out. I'll fast forward this part right here so that I don't have to bore you to death. As you can see, two of them fit per tray perfectly, actually. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these over to the freeze dryer. I'm not going to pre-freeze them. I'm going to let the freeze dryer do this. You can actually pre-freeze these, but since it's a liquid, I don't want to make a mess, trip over something, and have this end up on the floor. So I'm just going to put them in the freeze dryer, thaw it out, and I'll let the freeze dryer take care of pre-freezing it before it actually starts. The freeze drying process. We just tell the freeze dryer what we want it to do. Very, very simple. What we have to do is start the cycle, tell the freeze dryer that it's not frozen, and then the freeze dryer is going to end up telling us, hey, listen, go ahead, place the stuff inside, make sure that your valve is closed, and then hit continue. And that's it. As soon as you hit continue, you're going to hear the compressor turn on and it's going to start the freezing process. And then once it's frozen, you'll hear the pump turn on and the freeze drying has commenced. Well, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. This is kind of a surprise. I didn't think it would do this. And it looks like it might be a little bit of struggle taking this out. The trays won't come out because it's stuck to the top. So I'm going to take the entire tray assembly out and bring it over to the kitchen. It did its job in freeze drying it, so I'm just going to go ahead and take my time and scrape it off of the heating elements so that they don't get damaged. As you can see, I'm using a plastic spatula to do this. This is our end result. The orange juice chunks came off easier than I thought they would. And this right here is what came off and now to scrape everything off of these trays and then on to our next step. And for any of you that are wondering, cleanup was not very hard. Just rinse it off and the orange juice came off pretty easily. To tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen, I was kind of surprised that this worked out as good as it did. Being that this concentrated orange juice is so sugary, of course, it's all natural sugar from the oranges. I didn't think that it would freeze dry well, but these chunks here that you see, they are perfectly dry. In order to conserve some space, I'm going to go ahead and put all these chunks in my little Nutri Blender or Bullet Blender, whatever these things are called. And I'm going to go ahead and grind them up into a fine powder. And I'm going to go ahead and put them into a quart mason jar. Let's see how many mason jars this will fill up. The answer is two quart jars, ladies and gentlemen, and as you can see, it blended pretty well. Now let's weigh our contents, and then let's rehydrate some to see if the quality is still there. I'm tearing the weight off of an empty jar, and then we will weigh the full ones in order to get the actual weight of the product inside. The first one here you see has one pound, 7.85 ounces, so we can call it one pound, eight ounces. So one and a half pounds. Now let's go ahead and do the second one. And the second one comes in at one pound, four ounces, let's say. So all together, we have two pounds and 12 ounces. So we started off with 96 ounces of wet concentrate and ended up with 44 ounces of powder. That is a ratio of roughly two and one quarter parts wet to one part dry. So it will take two and a fifth the amount of water as there is powder in order to reconstitute it back to the concentrate that it started as. 
Now we have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that once it's in its concentrate state, so after we add the two and one fifth times water to turn it into concentrate, we still have to add three times that much water in order to bring it back to an orange juice consistency. Here I have a measuring cup that I will use to scoop one eighth of a cup of powder and then as you can see I will add two and roughly one fifth that much water in order to bring it back to a concentrated state. And then ladies and gentlemen I'll go ahead and add three times that much water to the concentrated state of orange juice which amounts to roughly about three quarters of a cup. So we'll go ahead and eye it here and then we'll go ahead and give it a nice stir and let's see what happens. It looks like orange juice ladies and gentlemen. Pretty excited to see what it tastes like. And it tastes like orange juice. No off taste, not too strong or too weak. We put just the right amount of water in there. I'll tell you what, technology is pretty awesome ladies and gentlemen. And you know, now we know that we can freeze dry orange juice. And to tell you what I think about storing it long term, I think it will store pretty well, as long as we keep it properly stored, and of course, place some oxygen absorbers inside the jars. I am going to do that in addition to using the food saver to get as much air out of the jar as possible. And then we will revisit this in about six months in order to see how it comes out. And you know what, actually, what I think I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to put oxygen absorbers in only one jar and leave the other jar without any absorbers just in case the sugar in the powder decides to harden up. You know, for those of you that don't know, if you store sugar with oxygen absorbers in it, the sugar will turn rock hard. Well, I hope that you got something out of this, ladies and gentlemen. Is it worth going through all this trouble, you know, to have orange juice in a freeze-dried form? I would say not, personally. So I won't be doing this again, but it was a good experiment to see if it could be done. And I'll be interested in seeing how it's holding up in about six more months. Having said that, have a great day. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see here will be available starting on 4 February. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out the video I put up because it's a great deal. Until February 6th at midnight, you will also be able to use the AP15 code for 15% off your entire order at checkout, whether or not you decide to get the breakfast bundle. Real quick, let me show you what it comes with. Your bundle will come with a pantry pack of the Homestyle Scramble, which is Nutrient Survival's number one selling product. The Maple Almond Grain Crunch, the Chocolate Grain Crunch, a pack of the Citrus Orange Flavored Immune Boost, a number 10 can of the Vitamin Eggs, which tastes like eggs, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not. A box of the Vitamin Coffee, which is by far the very best spray dried coffee that there is. And ladies and gentlemen, for the first 250 orders, Nutrient Survival is throwing in some swag. The AP community will be the first to have a chance to own some Nutrient Survival swag, and I really like the t-shirt that I have. So if you are in the market for some of the best and nutrient-dense storable food that there is, use the link under the description of this video, and make sure to use the code AP15 for 15% off your entire order. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, that starting this Monday, the 7th of February, the AP15 code will no longer be valid and the AP code will resume. So feed your freedom with Nutrient Survival.